Hey guys, Dylan with another deck list. This one is mono green and it slaps aggro decks so hard. You can win against slower decks by dealing face damage whilst playing for the board and can be okay versus mid range. This deck runs basically all of the burn available to energy and it runs the magical spell package, a sneaky pair of Captain Adams to counter Ivy, Cyborg and other burn decks. Just all the good stuff available to energy. It's surprisingly flexible thanks to Zatanna and most importantly it's fun. This video is a bit longer than most of my recent videos as I wanted to include two aggro matchups. Then there was another game that I just thought had to be included, and I've also included a snippet of a game that showcases Captain Atom being a god. Before we get into the games, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks! Alright, double Petro is alright because we're holding the Shockwave and Energy Blast as well. Um, we are going seconds though. Um, and the Petros get destroyed by Flash. Pretty sure they're playing aggro, so I'm still going to keep them. <sighs> oh, this is just the freest shockwave of my life. <laughs> and they've got no card draw because this isn't a Harley. That's just like... They have two cards left. Neither of these factions are great for draw. This is just GG. <laughs> Does anyone know how what resources you have to wait until um, to make a concede not counters leaving immediately? Um, so I don't think that was specifically mentioned. Uh, where is the DC Dual Force Discord? Announcements. Uh, I don't f see it mentioned anywhere. Um, I'm probably just not looking hard enough. So if I energy blast the back, this clears here. Not that I really even care about the Star Girl, because um, they're only have two cards in hand. Right, play that, which means that they won't be able to clear both. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. Like this is. Uh, they could have some extremely uh, strong gold and silver cards. Um, Anarchy is pretty good for all of that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to dealing damage. In turn 4, if both these leaders are, are alive, they could deal 20 damage if they have um, access to a leader and a power surge. Uh, which is where both of these having aura comes in huge. They do get the clear. Interesting, they use it now. I... Ah, oh, okay, they're just gonna straight up ignore this Pedro. Fair enough. Um... Do I just Firestorm? Let's see what a spell is. Fight Firestorm, Liberty Bell, Crystal Blast. And the Firestorm's up to 4 damage. And then we deal another 4 with the 2, so that's 8. 6 is 14. And then that becomes another 4 damage here. So it's that. That. This. This. <laughs> Talking about not having draw. And then that. And then that'll do a four. Um, uh, unless I draw a man bat or like their own liberty. But I'm not going to be able to remove this. 
Um, they should have no way of char manipulating their own charges. Pretty good draw for them. Um, unfortunately, pretty sure this still dies, especially if I have a lightning bolt. Draw a couple of actions. Don't need to use any of those just yet. They get to kill my Shazam here. Which doesn't really worry me. Because if I kill the Shazam, the Pedro stays up. Next turn I can... <laughs> I won't be able to play all of these because Pedro will die. Um, yeah, there's the concede. As was expected. Alright. Let's J skid again. Lanterns. This will be a good test. Alright. Nice to go first. Once again, the question. Uh, like the last time we versed Green Lantern, Black Hat, and the question is going to be whether or not I can get enough stuff down to deal with early lanterns and not totally run out of cards. Um, so we'll need to be very particular with how we do some of the things. For example, I may just Liberty Bell into that. Um, but I might need the 3 damage. I don't want them... I don't want to play Liberty Bell on them to just clear it a different way. See, so yeah, I think we go with this. Start chipping at this Black Adam. Um, we've already seen, assuming it was J Skid we first before when it was uh, Green Lantern Black Adam, we we saw uh, Amethyst being run in the deck. It may have been a different player. It just seems unusual that we'd run into two Green La uh, Hal Jordan Black Adam decks from two different people in such a short window. But then, I mean, maybe this is the best Green Lantern deck. Pretty sure it's still Wonder Woman, but... Bro. Got another chip. That's a problem for us. Ambush Bud kind of solves that problem for us. Um, but we don't have a great follow-up. Pretty sure we take the Crystal Blast here. And then if we pull a Constantine next turn, um, we're in a great spot. And if we don't, it's just generally going to be alright for Aura Break, but we do need to make sure that we Timothy Hunter before we play the Crystal Blast. Otherwise he doesn't activate. Oh, that's huge. That's very huge. Um, why has it got such a big buff? It got hit by... It must have been hit by both chips. Wow. <laughs> I, think, I think we... Oh, and they played another... Seek. Oh, there you go. I guess we lose against this. Ah. Okay, now we can remove it. I bring the thunder! Uh, 
let's play the Timothy Hunter first. Alright, and then deal two damage with that. Gift to Naboo is pretty good. Man, I wish we had a Firestorm right now. Uh, cryokinesis is going to be probably a big deal for us. Um, I'm going to use the Shockwave over the Crystal Blast here. Even though it deals damage to my own ward. Uh, just because, again, well, I think one of the few ways we win in this particular situation. I got hit with a 12 damage Firestorm the other day. Yeah. Uh, were they using... <laughs> were they using Lightning Bolts or were they using like Magical Spell Cycling? Ooh, the forced user culling on a single recruit. That's pretty good news for us. That's pretty bad news for us. Um, can I afford to take that damage? Their Black Adam could be charged next turn. Necromancy. What if I had die? Um, I feel like nothing terribly impactful, right? So we don't take the Necromancy? Or we play a Giovanni and have the Necromancy there to follow up? Um, we just need to make sure that not too many things die. Not too many things die. Um, between now and uh, when we necromancy, because very obviously um, this draws from a pool of all of the recruits you've had KO'd. Um, but I think we've only had three so far, and we're drawn mainly actions. Oh, nay! That's quite annoying. Um, at least it means that Black Adam's not charged here. He will probably end up charged by next turn. <sighs> Lightning Bolt's not... I mean, it's good. Kind of. Um... Would have been nice to get the Freddy out first. Um, if this swings next turn... Then they've got lethal damage here. And they might have lethal damage either way they go. So I might put this on this side. Um... I can't believe this Black Adam is going to wreck us so hard. And what are, we're only on turn 5A and it's basically charged. Um, getting, though, getting that double seek into double chip onto a killer log. Very good for them. Alright, glad to see they make the hit on the Freddy. Oh, my god. See if they've got the damage uh, to finish me off. I didn't call it that time. <laughs> that is a big boy. Ah, uh, they got the energy blast. Damn, that six damage would have made potentially a huge difference. Um, so we're almost a hundred percent using cryokinesis this turn. Oh good, a Helmet of Fate. Pretty I got no recruits. We need to check our recruit versus action balance in this as well, because I'm pretty sure it's not great. Uh... I mean, do I just grab the healing? How much health does she start with? I could hit in Geo. 
What would he be up to? He would be... He dealt two before. We played... I think we've played one more magical spell since then, so it's three. Or five. So we'd pretty much guarantee this would die. I like the way you think. Now, let's just hope that we... Yep. Right, that. This. Four. Five. So in two turns he kills this, we can also Howl of Fate it next turn if there's no blocker and we're not dead. Um, because if we Howl of Fate it, he will go up to a 10-10. Yeah, so he needs to block, otherwise it's lethal. Um, oh. How bad must it feel to massacre your own 1818 freaking whatchamacallit? Um, yeah. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure he still just wins the game. Ah! Oh! Can I get it big enough? I can get it to an 8-8 eight, eight, and that's it. With this. So I pretty much have to Earthquake. Mind you, this doesn't charge for another turn. So maybe I play this and Helmet. And hope they don't have Omega Beams. Oh, if they have a way to get through this, it's GG. But if they don't, it's GG. Um, because we can play these two to clear probably whatever they play. Um, I'm sure he doesn't want to hit this. He's thinking for way too long, which makes me think he doesn't have an easy answer. What? No! You son of a bitch. Okay, this becomes a 6-6. Six, six. But that means I still win next turn if he attacks it. Yes! And we get there. And minimal freaking face damage to me. Oh yeah. It's games like these that make me enjoy this game. Um, but uh, here's the aggro. Watch me not draw a single AoE spell. Um, I know this is weird, but I'm tossing Constantine here. Oh. Or do I? Oh, I think he's just too slow. I think they just kill my leaders if I take a turn to Constantine. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, this is a good anti aggro hand and one that we could have kept Constantine for. Seven gains bad luck, bad luck to toss him. Okay, uh, this is an ambush bug. Um, which probably should have gone in front of Zatanna. But it's alright. Bad luck to toss him. Well, oh, man. Hopefully not. Hopefully it wasn't. Um, so Timothy Hunter is going to be huge next turn and then we have earthquake to the turn after that our only major problem is that they are just going to be drawing a lot more than we can and 
that does not die to Earthquake, and it does after a Timothy. This probably would have been a really good uh, Constantine hand. I would have had to go on double silver though, and I don't know if we would have made it that far. Uh, we'll take the draw here. Yep, because we're going to slow them a bit here. Um, and then we'll use this to reload. Now the question is whether or not we energy blast this 3-3 or crystal blast the 2-1. I th think we energy blast because they've got their letter attacks up next turn. Um, it would have died to Earthquake, obviously, but, I mean, we need to not be dead by the time all of our stuff goes off. Especially when things like Earthquake deal damage to us as well. Um, so Flash easy clears here. I'd assume that they'll... Oh yeah, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so I guess we don't Earthquake. I guess we Amethyst Energy Blast. Um, what are we... We're down to 5 health here as well. Or... Or we just Firestorm and draw some actions. I love Firestorm. Oh yes. Okay, so we're basically going to end up out aggroing them at this rate. Um, so in hand we have 4 damage to both, so that's 7 and 14. Uh, 4 and 11, so then the energy blast will end up going there. Uh, the we'll just need to find six more damage to put here. Um, and of course, most of what we do will uh, be clearing their board at the same time. I, I don't think that matters anymore. I th think we basically have enough burn to close this out. Um, so it's Earthquake. And then play this this turn, and next turn is Hellblaze Energy Blast. Um, because they'll also potentially just end up dealing damage to themselves here. Um... And they've only got one more adrenaline draw, probably. Uh, how much? Yeah, nah, so this is GG, because then the following turn we have... Oh, <laughs> we'll still be one damage off. Alright. Hellblaze. <sighs> I didn't think Energy Blast was going to cast. Ah, oh, where's my... what's my math at? Um, I was wondering how we went from having six to... that. Uh, to being one off. <laughs> uh, in the middle of the game, I'm trying mono energy. And it's kind of been a heap of fun. Yeah, the mono colors, I think energy has enough versatility in it that it might um, be the best, maybe. Just get how, of how much versatility is in, in, 
in that faction. Yeah. Oh, whoops. And I just misplayed. That was very clever of me. Alright, um, Wait. so chat, yeah, you're gonna see this Vines proc and it's gonna clear both my auras and then both of these Captain Atoms will get their buffs. Boom. I just got a 9-9 Captain Adam. Cool combo. Yeah, I thought so too, Night Nelly. That was uh, definitely one of the reasons that I also wanted Mary Bromfield in here. Mary Bromfield's really good. I think she's a super underrated card. Yeah, the um the problem that I'm running into with the mono green is that I don't have a great amount of draw except for on actions. Um so usually if I get her I don't have another recruit and if I do it doesn't have aura anymore. Well, you've got Solstice and, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Shazam, right? Yeah. Um, but of course, neither of them have aura to start. So you'd need to spread it to them with either a Captain Adam or a Constantine. Hmm, Shazam the Wizard's got aura. Oh, right. Sorry, I was thinking Shazam recruit. But yeah, Sol Solstice doesn't. <laughs> this dude just tear gassed my Captain Adam, who still had aura, and it buffed it up further. <laughs> so those are the games, guys. Fun. Actually pretty good, if you don't draw poorly. Feel free to check out some of these other videos. Have a great day.